<clears throat> Naya Boot Camp, part two. I uh, ran out of battery. Hopefully it's plugged in. Hopefully I can finish this. And I uh, put another, a bunch of stuff on my phone, and now it's doing notifications, and it's cutting off my video. So now I've got to figure out how to take them off. And I don't even remember what I did, so this should be a fun day. Anyway, Naya Boot Camp, number two, with, with Tara. Now, because I can, I'm with her all the time and can see what her what she's doing vibratorily. It makes it a lot easier for me to see um, what she's doing. And she is, man, she's a rock star when it comes to this stuff. She is adamant about getting to 5D, no matter what. I, I mean, nothing is going to get in her way. And she pretty much started right from the beginning with her uh, <clears throat> a, a couple of pretty big issues that. She had been dealing with for decades, and she just, I mean, one of them she did in about 30 seconds, and uh, after some back and forth, and the other one took a, a couple weeks, and they were done. With that done, that gave her the knowingness to continue down this path, and she has done it with a fervor that you would not believe. I mean, literally, I have turned her world upside down, and I do not... I do not mince words. If I tell her that what she's doing is not working, it will never work, then she's on it to change it. And literally, the way she eats, what she eats, the way she dresses, stuff in her house, her job, where she lives, the way she talks, how she interacts with her friends. I mean, you name it, there is nothing, new activities that need to be incorporated uh, down to very, very small things. I mean, it doesn't matter. If, if I see it, I tell her. She puts it on a list and she starts to implement it immediately. She is tired, very tired most of the time because uh, really everything that, that her life is, although it's very nice and safe and it will absolutely keep her that way, but it will not get her to 5D and she wants that massively. So although I've checked with her over and over again, um, that is what it takes and that's what it'll take for all of you. If you want to go to 5D, it is a non-stop tweaking just about, if you're not in 5D, you're doing it wrong. It's that simple. I, I didn't make a judgment against you or, or anything or anybody else. It's just the truth of the matter. If you're not there already, something is wrong. And the only way that you're going to fix that, um, and I, I don't mean good and bad wrong, I mean it's it whatever's in your life will not get you to a higher vibration. So you have to find what that is. And there are, it is so complicated that that's the reason why I go back to be a little bit happier in the moment over and over and over. Because if you try to think this out and do it like I'm doing it with Tara, she's exhausted. And this morning she was really exhausted. And I said, and because her, her mind is blown. I said, that is the reason why I tell you guys don't worry about any of this stuff and just go moment to moment. But when it comes to big things, it's really kind of necessary, I think, for most people to look at your life and see what the big things are that are keeping you down, that are keeping you in a lower vibration. The uh, people that you're interacting with that are always downers, okay, they got to be gone. It's that simple. You can't interact with them. It's that simple. It's a fucking game, guys. In 5D, you'll see them again. It's no harm, no foul, no loss, but they have to go. If your job is a bummer, you have to change it. If the place that you live is full of people that are negative or your opinion of it is that it's negative and you can't change that vision of it, you need to change. Um, <clears throat> anything that you've been doing over and over again the same way every day for 10, 20, 30 years needs to change. I don't care if it's... Um, if you're doing the same breakfast every morning, if you're getting up at the same time, if you're bathing at the same time, if you're wearing the same clothes, all that needs to change. Whatever it is that you can change it up to make it different. As a matter of fact, the more different you can make your life every moment of every day, the better, the better, the least regimented as possible. It, break out of it as much as you can doing whatever you can. Change your hairstyles. Uh, put on wild clothes, bright colors around you all the time. I don't care if it feels clownish. Do it anyway. Um, anything and and on a on a pretty much for a lot of you, there's two entities. There's the star seed self and the egoic body. Your egoic body is going to hate everything I just said. It's going to fight you, and there's the problem right there. 
is because I tell you to be happier and happier. But what we've not, what I've noticed here when I get down to the nitty gritty is there are two sides of you. So which one do you follow? You're not happy. One side is going to be miserable to make these changes. The other side will be ecstatic. How do you know the difference? Which is why doing these things and assessing who's who. Who's, is it your bully or is it your artist? As I've said with Naya, which one is screaming no? Because if it's the bully, then you smile and you go, yay, I'm on the right track. If it's the artist that's screaming, you go, oh, oh going the wrong way. Because the bully's going to take you, keep you where you are, or take you down, eventually take you down in vibration. And the star seed will take you up to 5D. So you have to identify who's who. You have to know which one you're talking to. Now, the egoic body will never, when you go into instinct and feeling that's instantaneous, that is always your star seed self, your higher self, always. Because your egoic self cannot process things instantaneously. It must have some time, at least a few seconds, to make an assessment based on its data that it's collected. So another good reason to go with instinct and in moment to moment, because then you don't have to worry about I don't I don't worry about it at all. Because I always go with my instinct now. If I think about it, I immediately go, well, I thought about it, so probably that's the wrong thing to do. So I'm not doing that, so I'll clear it out and come at it again. That's what I do. I do instinct instinctually move because I know that that's high vibration. I don't have to ask myself that. I know that my egoic self could not have answered that quickly. It's impossible. They can't. They can't do it. They must collect data. So it is very tricky, not only individual things like the masculine and feminine that you need jerk reaction to things that you've been taught over well, they've been set in place for a very, very long time, but you've been taught it for, for decades. Not only do you have to assess that, but you have to assess which part of you is, is reacting to that. And what's the purpose? There is, see how much time this takes? So whenever I say my book's not written yet and I ask for help with doing these other things, it's because I am very busy, but it's not a busy that if you hung around me, you would say, well, you're not doing anything. Well, I am doing a great deal of things, but it's all vibratorily because I can move so much faster and get more done vibratorily. As you know, you can move easily 2 million bits, uh, timelines per second. Okay. Now, if I am busy working at a job and paying my bills and assessing moment to moment, then those that movement of timelines is going to stay very much in the same kind of timelines. It's going to move up vibrationally very slowly. But if I don't do that and I go with my instincts, then that 2 million timelines can move me very quickly to a higher vibratory state. As a matter of fact, it can move me so fast that I can move right into 5D. So I have to practice it not doing that, not doing that in order to stay here and finish whatever it is I'm supposed to be doing now, which when I get home, I think uh, I'll be able to find that out. But now that the big thing is done, uh, instinct tells me there's little things that I can do or opt out of doing, but I need to make a decision on those. Okay. So <clears throat> what was I talking to you guys about? Tara, uh, the Naya book, um, boot camp. Um, because I cannot go visit and stay with each and every one of you for a month and talk you through it. I will try to get, uh, Jeremy. I've done a lot of it long distance and hopefully he will do videos explaining, uh, the, the steps that we've done together where I've done that long distance with him. Um, I encourage anybody that I've been able to work with, uh, step by step, who's been successful at it, uh, to do videos on what we talked about and how you recognize that you were going, staying the same or going down in vibration and how you implemented new techniques because it will help other people and it will help me because I cannot, um, do enough videos to explain it enough stuff, which is why I want you guys to talk. It's not about being the best in the group. It's about screwing it up, figuring it out and doing it right and sharing how you did it with others. That's the whole point. The point is not to do a video and go, oh, cool, I'm the best of the best. No, mm -mm, that's not it. 
because there is no best of the best. There's just different paths, and I can't cover them all in uh, the time I have left here. So I really encourage you all to uh, do videos and explain what you've done to get these things done. And I'll give you hints with these videos uh, the best I can over and over again as I try to step you guys through it. Hopefully, I, I really think Tara will will do videos, and I did a lot with her. I've done a lot with her, and she is just so good at it. I mean, she's so good at listening and implementing. It's just amazing to watch. From my perspective, it's been a joy to watch her because she is so, you know, she's got, she's got, she's so strong at it. Whenever she puts her mind to it, it's so amazing to watch. And you all can do the same thing. You all can do the same thing. All right? Okay, um, that's it for this one. I don't know if I'll do any more videos because I'm just doing a lot, just flowing with the flow. So uh, I love you guys so much. Hang in there. You're doing a great job for real. I love you so much. And huge hugs, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.